video, we're going to take a look at how to utilize Adobe Encore to build a loopable DVD. Now, when you build a loopable DVD, in some cases you'll have controls on the remote itself. Just simply just press loop uh, or, you know, create DVD to loop on the remote control button and it will loop. But and a lot of times you'll lose the remote to where it won't be available on there or those controls, you lose the remote, the control's not on the monitor um, or, or a number of different issues. So it's a good idea to have this um, control built into the DVD itself to keep it very simple and, and, really, and really no fuss. It's a little laborious to, do, to go through Encore. It used to be a lot easier actually, but uh, it, it is a little laborious, but it, it, it works. It makes it very simple for the, uh, for the end user to control what it is because they just pop it in, it loops, and it's no fuss. So what I will, um, what I will be using to create the DVD, the loopable DVD, is simply Adobe Encore, and I'm pulling a project from Adobe After Effects. So I'm going to utilize the Adobe Dynamic Link that pulls up that After Effects composition. I highly suggest you utilize the Adobe Dynamic Link, but if you do not have that, you can import, if you've got a video file, I would suggest you import it as timeline, it makes it much easier. Um, if you've just got a, a video file, I wouldn't suggest you go that route, but if you just have an audio video file, you've got an MOV or an AVI file, um, then import as timeline would be the way you want to uh, go for this process. But I'm going to go to Adobe Dynamic Link, and I'm going to click on After Effects Composition, and this will basically just search for what you have on your um, on your hard drive. So I've got um, some material here. I want to go to Encore Looping DVD, and I love to loop. And it takes just a few seconds for After Effects to find the um, the information it's it's utilizing the Adobe Dynamic Link server so it's a little sluggish so it takes um, really you know 10 10 seconds or so to find what uh, what it wants and here it is I've got heart comp that's the one I want so I go to open and it pulls up the After Effects project I was working on before so once I have it into my timeline I will right click and go to new timeline. Now, if you select it instead to import your video file as timeline, you don't have to go through that step. But I would highly suggest you utilize the Adobe Dynamic Link. It will save you the 10 seconds it takes to load, will save you a tremendous amount of time, and it will make a much cleaner um, video file for you. So, the first thing we want to do is build it to loop. So I will deselect everything that I have, and that brings me over to the properties. On the far right-hand side of my screen, I've got disk properties. So what I want to have happen here for first play, I want it to obviously play the chapter one, which is it's set up to do that automatically, which says, as I pop it into my DVD player, what's the first thing that I want to do? Well, I wanted to play my uh, heart loop, my heart composition. Fantastic. Um, title button you can set if you want to. Um, I'll just set that to, uh, to stop. And then I will go over and select the timeline. And I want an inaction, and this is where my loop happens. For the loop, I want to make sure I have a timeline selected, not deselected. That gives me my disk properties. But I want my timeline selected. I've got an end action over here, and I want that to be, you guessed it, composition one, which says when Playhead reaches the last five seconds of this, what's going to happen? Well, what I would love to happen is for it to loop. So you want to go back to chapter one. Chapter one begins right there. That's my marker. Um, the menu remote, you can, if you're so inclined, you can click that to stop. You're building a CD-ROM. You can do all sorts of cool stuff. Go to a, a link online. Crazy. So we'll cover that at, uh, at later tutorials. But we just want a simple, no-fuss, loopable DVD. So we're good to go. 
we will go ahead and press the build section which pulls up a whole host of other options good idea is to just check your project there's a check project button which starts kind of a, a faux build and there's if you see any errors they'll show up here and you you know figure out how to fix those errors which isn't a big deal and once that is completed um, you go to build so you put yourself a DVD ROM inside of your computer. You make sure you have a hard drive that's going to burn it. And that's it. You click on build and it will build the DVD for you. And that's it. And it's going to ask you, since I do not have one, it's going to say, you big dummy, you need to put a DVD in there, which, uh, which I would do if I wanted to burn this item. But that's simple. Um, that's all you have to do. It's a little laborious, I understand, but it does make for a clean, um, a clean movable DVD. Uh, some applications like iDVD, uh, you know, I would assume do it as well. But if you're working with Adobe products, more professional package, this is the way to, uh, to go if you have Encore.